Hey, 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 Gemini. This is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Gemini in Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gemini, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. The link to my Etsy shop is there. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Gemini. Let's see what's coming at you. It's coming at my Geminians. What's coming at Gemini? I hope you guys are doing well today. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you're single, ready to mingle. You're feeling good. You feel good. The Empress. You're feeling very good. Hmm. Wait a minute, is this Gemini? Okay, so Gemini, you could be interested in a Taurus or a Libra, or there's a Taurus or a Libra coming at you. It really could be any sign, because the Empress is the queen of all queens. It could totally be a male as well. It's just feminine energy. But this is somebody who knows their worth, knows how to manifest, and has a... Hmm, they're saying a soft glow. That's interesting. And that's male or female. Okay, so what else? What's going on with Gemini? Okay, I feel like when this person, is this new? This is new! Finally, somebody with new. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords. They're saying that when this Emperor or this Empress comes into your life, that it's going to be quite the shocker. It's, you're literally, you're not gonna be looking. And it's funny, because they're showing me like somebody out having a good time but it's like you're not looking for a mate. You're just out having a good time. I mean, you could be at a party. It seems like, because what they're showing me is that you know, like all of the people that are there, the majority of the people in the environment, you know. So it's gotta be at some sort of, I don't know if it, it'll be like a family event or a wedding or some big event, you know, something like that. Six of Swords. Okay, so there you are, the Queen of Swords energy. And you, you know what's interesting? <laughs> Gemini, you're single, ready to mingle, right? So you're just out having a good time. And you have been intellectualizing love right? I mean, you always appreciate communication style and, and banter and whatnot, but you really have not allowed your heart to get in the way, they're saying. Interesting. So you haven't allowed your heart to be interjected into any um, dating scenarios. And when this person comes along, that's going to change. This is actually going to give you a sense of peace. This person's going to be very calming for you, for your spirit, they're saying. For your, ooh, for your mind. And that's what you need, Gemini, definitely. Ace of Chalices, new love, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been feeling, you've been feeling lonely. Even though you've been out, right, single, looking good, feeling good. It's like you've been feeling lonely. You've been 
feeling a lack of love. Even though you really don't have a lack of love because they're showing me a lot of people around you that love you. It's that, it, it, it's the intimacy I'm feeling that you're missing. Clarify this five of pentacles. Tell me more about what Gemini's feeling or what Gemini has been feeling before this person came along. Two of pentacles, yeah, it's like, trying to balance your life, trying to balance you, the mind, body, and spirit, right? Because you're all about the mind. And this is why this person is so <laughs> integral in, in, in this balance you're trying to achieve. They're bringing a sense of peace to your mind, which in turn connects you with your heart space, they're saying. Huh? That's beautiful. That's why they're saying now, okay, this soft glow, that's where it's coming from. They have an awesome aura. All right, tell me about the nine of pentacles. This is Virgo energy. The emperor, yep. Okay, they're playing me the song, You're As Cold As Ice. And it's not that you're cold to people here. I feel that you've just been treating love sort of intellectually. So you're, you've been, I guess you can call it cold, but you're not mean or anything. You're happy. Like you're having a good time right before this emperor or empress comes along anyway. Tell me more about this emperor. So it's, I feel like you're, you're taking on this sort of emperor mentality, which is interesting because the empress comes, right? Uh, but when the emperor is not balanced, right? The emperor is not in his heart space. So male or female this is masculine energy that you've been carrying but the empress that's so interesting do you see how the emperor needs the empress i'm not fascinating clarify again it's like that softness just brings out that peace brings out the best in the emperor. Tell me more about this nine of pentacles and emperor for Gemini. Queen of wands, yep. And that's just, that just goes along with this nine of pentacles emperor energy. Like you're looking good, you're feeling good. You feel confident, yes but you're more in that sexual energy um, and, and not necessarily that heart space. It's not that none of your heart is in anything. It, it's just your focus is more on the passion before this empress comes along. But that changes quickly. The chariot, yep, this is clarifying the empress. What else for the Empress? So when this Empress comes along, it's like full speed ahead. That's what they just said, full speed ahead. This is going to be, you guys are gonna be a power couple. I mean, it, it, can you even, can, can, you've gotta feel this energy here, Gemini, even before this Empress comes. So. Okay, tell me, because I don't want to give you anything more on the Empress. That's pretty self-explanatory. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. <laughs> the King of Wands. Yep. Yep. 
So see, it's like you're balanced in the masculine and feminine, but that feminine side is just, it's a little bit different than, hmm, how can I put it? It's not that the Queen of Wands doesn't have hearts. It's just, it's like you're, you're embodying or you were embodying or will be embodying the Queen of Wands and sort of putting the heart aside, not the heart, love, falling in love. You're putting that element aside and focusing just on the passion and the moment on, you know, nothing more. Wait a minute, something, what was this? What is going on here? Wait a minute. I don't know what just happened. I hate when this happens. Okay. All right. So let's clarify. Let's see. The Ace of Chalices. I think this needs to be clarified. The Eight of Wands. Yeah. So things are going to happen fast with this empress when this emperor or this empress comes um things are going to happen fast with you two things are going to move full speed ahead i don't know why this deck keeps doing this i don't know if it's this deck or it's maybe it's me because like i'm talking i'm not even paying attention to how i'm shuffling really <laughs> and this deck is new so it's like all slippery all right, so what else do we have here? Oh, I already clarified that. So let's get you some advice because I, I feel like this is self-explanatory. You know, this is judgment. So this is a reunion of souls here. This is definitely a soulmate from a past life. Um, you're going to have a huge aha moment, Gemini. And I'm loving this for you. I'm loving it because it's totally unexpected. And isn't that the best when that happens, right? When something just comes out of the blue and you're not expecting it. And it's just like, it, it overwhelms you. It overtakes you, right? Where'd that go? Oh, it's on 10. Okay, you have visualiz visualiz oh my gosh. Freaking Mercury. Visualize. There we go. I said it. When we develop our abilities to visualize, we can manifest maximum influence on our experience of reality. Oh, yeah. So you know how to visualize, Gemini. You are all about the mind. And I feel like this is probably what is happening Um how you're calling this emperor or empress in because you are in the mind you are of the mind with this queen of swords energy and then you add that passion right i almost feel like in this passionate state right there is an injection of the heart and you don't even know it but it's not an injection of the heart with the person that you're with say right sexually speaking in the moment, it's it's like the idea that you're having in the moment of sort of making love to that perfect one, right? If that makes any sense. It's almost like you're you're acting it out, but you're dreaming it out, which essentially is telling the universe what you want. And it's bringing it to you, which is pretty cool. It's magic, which is funny because the Queen of Wands is magic. So you are creating magic. You're little, literally creating magic, but you are the magician. So, wow. That's beautiful, Gemini. All right, Gems, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day, Gemini, and go make some magic. Namaste.